with the advance of technology, you can paint on the iPad and there are many apps that simulate uh, real painting. Uh, you have brushes that can simulate pencil, charcoal to oil, watercolour. I've been doodling since I was young. Um, I'm self-taught, so I've not gone through any formal art training. I started with pencil and uh, it was only in my university days that I, when I discovered uh, digital painting using Photoshop and other programs. Um, I started painting on the iPad one and a half years ago. When I first started, I used this free app called Drawcast. Well, it was a very good app, given that it's free, but uh, it crashed very often, so that created problems for me. After that, I moved on to, a, to an app called Brushes, but then I discovered my latest, the latest app I'm using called Procreate. Normal painting, you cannot, you don't have an undo button. iPad painting allows you to have layers. Most of the apps have layers, meaning you can draw on one layer, then you can paint over on another layer. You can even adjust the transparency of the layers. iPad painting allows you to choose colors. Traditionally, you have to mix paints or you have to blend different colors to get the color you want. Typically, you can adjust the size of the brushes and the transparency. So for traditional painting, you would have to switch brushes and you have to, if you are using, doing watercolour, you have to wash it and then get a smaller brush. I like to draw comic style, um, my original creations with, with a message or a moral. But most of all, I think I've been drawing portraits because I just find it very fascinating that there is beauty in uh, anything and everything and especially in expressions. I love capturing expressions and emotions. I hope that iPad painting will gain greater recognition in Singapore and globally um, because it unleashes a lot of potential. iPad has all these ready tools, you can try them. And in fact, I find that I'm a lot more bold with iPad because I can undo. I feel that this is a, a, a relatively cheap way for, for people to experiment with art.